welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Benita. Here we talk about all the things that we love as it relates to lifestyle and luxury. Again, if you are new, welcome. So we usually do videos twice a week. Wednesdays are usually a luxury upload. Um, I also may sprinkle in a vlog or two. And then Fridays, we do what we call a Fast by Friday. So if you think you would like it here, I hope that you would like. Of course, comment, subscribe, turn on the post notifications all the things but without further ado we're gonna get started so y'all happy september today is september 1st today we're gonna chat about five bags or brands that you should only purchase pre-loved now some of you are thinking benita i only purchase pre-loved regardless right yeah i know a lot of us have moved toward beyond the boutique shopping for our luxury items and we only purchase pre-loved consignment that type of thing some of you are like me you do shop pre-loved and you also shop brand new from the boutique or what have you but there are particular bags and or brands that you really only in my opinion um, should buy them pre-loved because some of these items either are better in like the vintage version some of these bags or brands they just do not hold their resale value um, a lot of these bags are very or, ha or were trendy and when people were done with them and people, some people just like to, you know, have a revolving door um, of items, be it luxury or whatever. And they go to the resale market really quickly and they don't really recoup the money. The first brand, and you may be surprised, but again, in my opinion, I feel like you should only buy pre-love right now. It's going to be my beloved Louis Vuitton. You guys know that LV is my number one fashion house always has always will be it is my gateway designer i guess you would say to you know loving luxury handbags and goods um but you know no surprise i'm not gonna be the dead horse louis vuitton over the past i would say five years has definitely changed and gone in a different direction um, Louis Vuitton is known for their canvas bags without a doubt you know we want a nice canvas bag with the Louis Vuitton monogram and then the Bichetta leather you just I mean you can't beat it but in my opinion vintage Vuitton is the best Vuitton if I was starting over right now you know just getting into luxury and I wanted a Louis Vuitton bag I would say about 85 to 90 percent chance that I would buy it pre-loved. Even the more trendier one pieces that they're coming out with, a lot of those things do not hold their resale value. A lot of people are, once they get them because of the quality and if they keep them long enough um, past the return date, they have to end up selling them. Because because again, we've talked about it, the newer bags are really having a few quality issues and you can find them on the pre-loved market for better deals. Probably still a little higher if it is like a trendier piece, but it, it should be a lower than what you would pay retail. Unless it's one of those sought after items that you are gonna find on the pre-loved market, but is really brand new, is really on the resale market, which I just wouldn't buy, period. If you guys keep up with like fashion trends and such, you'll see that the bowler type round speedy type silhouette bag is back in style is back on trend from a lot of the fashion houses. Louis Vuitton um, has several iterations of the Speedy. Um, I think Dior has kind of like a barrel type bag in the men's section. Speedy type bags or the Speedy Silhouette, they're definitely on trend. But if by chance you wanted a Speedy, you know, people always say that Speedies are out of style. So people get rid of them really quickly and you can find them pretty cheap. I've seen several in excellent condition well under a thousand dollars if you can get your hand on a vintage baton bag it doesn't have to be a speedy my speedy is 30 years old let me see if I can show you guys the date code here can you see it there I would not trade this bag for the world I don't care whoever says that you know speedies are out of style don't take your speedy and if I retire the bag I'm gonna keep it because you just cannot find this type of Louis Vuitton craftsmanship 
today. You just can't. The second brand that I think you should definitely shop pre-loved would be Fendi. I've said this before. Everybody loves Fendi. Everybody loves a good Fendi bag. Fendi is one of those brands that they come on trend, off trend. They go away for a year or two. Everything calms down and then they pop back out with something that people really, really like. Fendi is always relevant, right? Some of their bags do not hold their value. One bag in particular that's not hold its value would be the Fendi Peekaboo. If you are looking for an all leather, nicely crafted, like old lady chic, as I call it, bag, because I love a good top handle leather bag with a strap, whether I use the strap or not, the Fendi Peekaboo is a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. That's always on my list. If I find one that's the right color, that's, that doesn't have too much wear, that's the right price, I will purchase that. But retail, those bags are about 3,500 and up, but you can find Fendi Peekaboo's, especially the larger ones, because people like the mini bags right now, but larger bags are definitely coming back. But you can find a larger Peekaboo bag um, 1500 a thousand you know I've seen a few that in okay condition under a thousand dollars so Fendi definitely I would shop pre-loved the next brand that I would shop pre-loved would be Givenchy in particular the Givenchy Antigona um, Givenchy is one of those brands that goes on sale, kind of like Versace. They, you know, will put something out, but you can definitely guarantee that they will go on sale. You can def definitely guarantee that Versace and Givenchy, they will go on sale. If you use some of the luxury platforms like Essence, Farfetch, Net-A-Porter, My Teresa, they're always included in the sale. Nordstrom Rack always has Givenchy items on sale, but you can find the Antigona half the price. I'm not the biggest fan of Fashion File, but my friend and I were speaking on this on yesterday. I always have really good stock in um, Antigonas from the large ones, because no one, people don't like the large ones anymore because it's like kind of like a suitcase. I would get one for travel. I definitely would. Would. I would probably use it as a suitcase, but the large ones, the medium, the small, and the many. You can find them on Fashion File, all colors, again, all sizes, and in any condition. I've seen them from about $500 all the way up to almost retail for the ones that in like excellent condition, but you can find them on Fashion File. So I definitely would not buy Givenchy anything, really, <laughs> retail. The next brand that I would not shop retail for would be Balenciaga. And I agree with my girl, Delena Brown Girl Luck. She said that the quality of some of those bags, um, the hourglass bag in particular, and I've seen that bag and I agree with her. I think that they, I don't wanna say, I don't wanna say it's cheaply made, but it's, it's kind of cheaply made, honestly, because they probably mass produced them really quickly to keep up with the hype, to keep up with everybody wanted them. They probably should have just left it with the Gucci Balenciaga collaboration because I would get that bag. That bag though is just on the pre-loved market, it is three times retail. So if one happened to fall into my lap, that would be <laughs> how I would get that bag. But the actual normal Balenciaga, they don't hold their resale value. And you can start to, you can see the prices of them on the retail, on the resale, excuse me, market are starting to come down. And if you really want that bag and it's worth you saving $100, $200, you probably can find that now. But I would just wait. And the key to all of this, to any of these bags, if you wait, they're going to go down as far as you're gonna find them on the resale market. You are. You're gonna find them on the resale market. You're gonna find someone who wants to get rid of their bag for whatever reason. You're gonna be able to get it in a more digestible price range. Um, but yeah, Balenciaga. Also too, in the line of Balenciaga, the city bags. I would definitely buy the vintage ones. I would not buy the reissued version because cheap, they really look cheap. They look plastic to me. Now granted, I have not seen one 
face to face in real life but just YouTube on the website just kind of you know zooming in the cowhide or whatever they're doing to treat the leather to pop to have these colors pop it's causing the bag to look really cheap and then actually Karen Britchick I will see if I can find her video but hers recently broke her Balenciaga the new version of the city bag it broke and these bags are again about three thousand dollars um they're breaking we got pop stitches yeah no thank you so that's why i would definitely buy them pre-loved and i wouldn't even do the new version of the city bag i would go to the vintage version of the balenciaga city bag i saw one on fashion file that was a purple suede and i don't even like purple but that and it was about i think 500 dollars. that was a nice bag and it was like the medium size not the big one and not the small one it was kind of in the old medium it was a beautiful bag and that's the kind of if you want to do balenciaga i would do old school vintage first and if you want like the hourglass bag definitely go pre-loved on some of these sites the last brand that I would buy pre-loved is, well, it's not the brand in general because I like some of their newer bags and it's Gucci, right? But Gucci have reissued almost all, all of their bags and they are beautiful. They really are. I um, haven't heard too much about like a dip in quality. What I found for Gucci is that the best way to shop Gucci is pre-loved but for shoes. Now, I know it's a lot because I'm still, you know, with thrifting and all, you guys know that I'm, I'm too far. But I have seen brand new, like never been worn, Gucci loafers on some of these, you know, pre-loved sites for like $300 when the gucci mules that i want i think they're 800 i think they're 790 or 760 so that's a huge savings if i could find them at around the 300 dollar mark now again when i was on fashion file a couple of weeks back i saw tons of gucci mules there because gucci will throw <laughs> you know how gucci does gucci can be on the tacky end sometimes gucci will take one thing and reissue it like a thousand different ways so i saw tons of mules like the canvas ones the checkered ones the all leather ones the ones with the fur the ones with feathers the one with the pink roses the ones that are gingham all of those were on and they were pretty much brand new in excellent condition so for me if i was to buy them pre-love that would be about a 400 dollars savings for me so i don't know all right guys, well I guess that's it. Those are the five bags and or brands that I would only shop pre-loved. And um, comment down below some of the brands that you love that you would only shop pre-loved. And then give me a red heart if you're just a pre-loved shopper in general. All right guys, I hope that you have the most amazing weekend and I will see you next week. Take care, bye. Oh, <laughs>